Joining Boston Cares kind of brought my life together in a lot of ways. I moved to Boston right after I got married and I was looking for kind of a purpose and a way to stay involved and to continue contributing. I have been focusing a lot on education and literacy. I also work with the Women's Lunch Place and so I love that place. It offers so many opportunities beyond feeding amazing meals but really providing resources for women who are struggling through different situations in their life. And I remember connecting um, with a fellow volunteer one day who said, I used to come to this shelter and I used to be a person who would stand in this lunch line and it means so much to me to be able to have overcome that and be on the other side now. Also working one-on-one -on -one with students I had a really amazing experience working with a student on her college essay and she told me I almost didn't come today because I felt so behind and I was worried that I was never going to catch up and look where we are now. When volunteering, I feel great about the people that I connect with and the, the opportunities that I'm hopefully able to give them through different projects. But what's been so amazing for me is that I've learned so much. I think that volunteers often underestimate how much there is to be gained as a volunteer in learning about your community and just learning the ways that you can be involved. And the impact is so profound. Um, and that's what's really been amazing for me. I retired in 2017, and before I retired, I was an audiologist. And I really loved my work. I felt like it was really meaningful. So I knew that when I retired, I was going to want to continue to do something that felt meaningful to me. And I found a program, the St. Mark's Community Education Program, and they provide English classes and citizenship classes for free for people in the community. And I went to a class on Saturday morning coaching some students and I just fell in love. I fell in love with them. I fell in love with the mission of the program. I fell in love with the work and I've been doing it ever since. I've lived in Dorchester for 40 years. So I've had immigrants as my patients, my coworkers, my friends, and my neighbors. In fact, two of my immediate next door neighbors were in our citizenship classes. So this particular area of work just literally hits very close to home for me. I got involved with volunteering at a time when I saw there was a lot of need. And particularly in the immigrant community, there was a lot of pressure on immigrants. And so I felt just compelled to get involved because it's easy to feel discouraged when there are challenges, but doing something, actually volunteering, is kind of the antidote to discouragement. Um, so I really needed to feel as though I could have an impact. 12 years ago in 2007, I was a, a college student back in Shanghai and then we happened to be the host city for the Special Olympics and then I was volunteer with uh, a team of athletes from South Africa. It happened to be a couple years later, I moved to the United States and then I uh, found Boston Cares and uh, on the calendar you have uh, track training with Newton Athletes Unlimited and that was my very first volunteer event and then I just stick with it um, for the past six and a half years. And it's actually not a really typical volunteer because we volunteers we feel like we're more like um, friends with the athletes and you hang out with the athletes you are the cheerleader for them. My favorite memory of volunteering is to see how people come together to help each other support each other as a community. Like when we go out um, volunteer um, help the athletes um, but I think it end up helping us um, in terms of building confidence you know, bring joy to our life. I think volunteers are contagious and doing good is contagious. So once you start um, volunteer and then uh, if you introduce your friends to it, the group will become larger and larger. I think volunteer is important to me because it's a way that I feel like I can leave a trace on the world. I found out about Boston Cares through my college, which is Bunker Hill Community College. It piqued my interest that it said there was a calendar program that was flexible. I thought that sounded really interesting, so I signed up for an account, signed up for an orientation, and then started volunteering. I grew up in Boston in the Dorchester neighborhood, and when I signed up for orientation with Boston Cares, I learned about some of the sites. And as I'm signing up, I realized these are literally in my own backyard. Didn't know these places were there. 
the daily table is right in my neighborhood. I can walk there, you know, in 20 minutes. Didn't know that location was there, didn't know it was a not-for-profit grocery store, and that families now don't have to drive to, you know, a store if they don't have a car. They can walk and get nutritious food that's nearby. I think I spend most of my time on projects that surround uh, veteran services and anything with food security. The veterans I just think is so important. I, I really enjoy that more for just interacting with the veterans and getting to see them, getting to chat with them quickly when time permits while we're serving meals. And just to give back to people that have given so much to the country is important to me. I think it's just really special to me to see the impact I can have on a city that I grew up in and, and how it's changed and improved over the decades. And just that people are, are coming together on a daily basis. Um, volunteering will bring people together and they have to physically be together to, to accomplish these tasks and you know, make things better for everybody. I think if everybody helps just a little bit, it's, it's gonna make you know, everybody's life better at the end of the day and kindness costs nothing. Well, when I relocated to, to Boston one year ago, I came here pursuing a dream. Quickly I realized to pursue that dream without connection, without networking into the city of Boston or into the country, is, it was really difficult. So somebody recommended to me to do, start doing volunteer activities. Uh, that is a great activity in the United States. So I found this place, I came to the orientation, and I, I love it. I normally volunteer in three different places. One of them is the Boston Living Center. The Boston Living Center is an organization that works with people who are HIV positive. I go in there because I like to cook. I like to spend some time in the kitchens. Also, I do in career collaborative. They have a program for four weeks that people who want to change the situation in the current job or they are looking for new opportunities during a program of four weeks, they develop some skills. I have a lot of knowledge of that, so I really like to share that knowledge with them. I like to share the passion that I have for this organization now, uh, to share with them the ability that they can have, uh, the impact they can create with other people in order to do something good for somebody else. To have that interaction with somebody else and people that are trying to do something genuine. Imagine that you do a, something good for somebody else and then it's gonna be a change. That person is gonna be, do something good for somebody else. And just imagine the impact in your neighborhood, in your community, in your city, in your state, and your country. And I believe kindness in this current situation in the world is the best that you can do for somebody else.